the deadliest fights in the insect kingdom. We often see large animals fight it out in the wild and sometimes forget. There is another world much smaller filled with insects, where massive battles take place. Have you ever seen a centipede fight a tarantula? What happens when a black widow and a wolf spider meet? Do they get married? If you want to see what goes on in the world of insects, you need to see this, as we count down 8 deadliest fights in the insect kingdom. Number 8. Scorpion vs. Cockroach this scorpion is trying to capture this cockroach, but for some reason, it's unable to the roach hides. While making sure the scorpion thinks it's gone, this cockroach isn't as lucky, and once this female death stalker scorpion grabs it, it's not letting go. The scorpion stings the roach, and waits for the venom to take effect. This black whip scorpion chases this cockroach, as it runs for his life, but eventually clutches it with its pincers, and kills it. A death stalker scorpion sees two cockroaches thrown in its enclosure. The cockroaches walk directly towards the scorpion. The scorpion doesn't seem interested interested in the cockroach. Number 7, Giant Ichneumon Wasp. Because of their size, each new mounted wasps appear to be deadly, although they are not in self-defense. The wasp may jab with its avipositor in most cases. This will only result in a minor wound. If you see these wasps ignore them. In this video, this giant Ichneumon Wasp is standing in the middle of many yellow jacket wasps and walking among them. Number 6, Jewel Wasp vs. Cockroach. Cockroaches are used by parasitoid jewel wasp as a source of live fresh food for its progeny to control the cockroach's behavior. The wasp injects deadly poison directly into its brain. The life cycle of this magnificent predator is depicted in this clip, which culminates in the cockroach's long and terrible death. In the African savanna lives a very interesting creature. This is the jewel cockroach wasp and she is on the hunt for something, and it's a cockroach. She approaches it carefully, as the roach is far once. She is close enough, she stings it twice. The first thing disables the roach's front legs, the second sting she delivers directly into the insect's brain. But this does not kill the roach nor is it even paralyzed. The wasp venom simply disables the roach's escape reflex. She probes the further roaches for just the right place, and when she has found it, she lays her egg. The roach is not sustenance for her, but rather for her young now. She must protect her investments, she carefully seals the burrow with twigs and rocks inside the burrow the roach remains. The egg will soon hatch as a grub. The insect will bore its way into the cockroach's body and consume its internal organs, in the order most likely to keep it alive as long as possible. This chase is comparable to a scene in an action film, as this jewel wasp chases a cockroach all over the place. Once it injects its stabilizer into the cockroach, it brings it to a more discreet place where it will probably lay its eggs inside the cockroach. Number 5, Mantis vs. Blowfly. Adult blowflies eat a range of foods, but most species larvae are scavengers, who feed on carrion or dung. The larvae feed on the decaying meat, after the adults deposit their eggs on the carcasses of dead animals. These larvae prey in livestock, other animals, and even people. But this mantis doesn't really care, and the blowfly doesn't impress it at all. It grabs the blowfly and eats it like it would any other prey. While this prank mantis begins to eat this blowfly, the blowfly begins to eject larvae, that's fascinating behavior especially, while it is being eaten alive. Here is a huge praying mantis hanging onto a blowfly and devouring it alive. There isn't much the blowfly can do, but recite a prayer. This yellow mantis attacks an assassin bug and begins to chew it up in no time. The second bug tries to flank the mantis, but the mantis moves away from the bug. A third bug joins the fight, and now two assassin bugs try to save their friend. But the mantis persists at the end of it. All the mantis demolishes all the assassin bugs in the aquarium safe to say. We know which bug is the real assassin. Number 4, Green Ants. These green ants have made their kingdom a no-go zone for other insects. Any breach is greeted with a barrage of fire. The green ants' strength lies in their numbers. Some will pin the victim down, while others will continually bite it. A team immobilizes a beetle, like a top commando unit, while others begin hacking it up in only minutes. Green ants can trap and murder a beast. However, some species such as this deadly tree scorpion can be too hot to handle. It's a cunning foe with size and steam on its side. The lower rainforest canopy is stocked by the tree scorpion. It has no fear of anyone, thus it is not frightened to go anywhere. In the rainforest, this critter understands how to look after itself, but how will it fare in boundary disputes. The ant's empire nearby is rapidly expanding the territory of the tree scorpion is under threat, and any disagreement will swiftly escalate into an all-out battle. 
Green ants do not negotiate when they enter your region. They simply show up in droves and take over. There's no diplomacy or debate. They owe only their queen allegiance. The tree scorpion on the other hand has little regard for the queen or her loyal subjects. A lone scout has discovered the scorpion, although the scout is readily eliminated. It has issued a chemical distress signal. It's like an air raid siren going off within the colony. Troops are dispatched to the battleground to confront the colossal intruder. The ants use their weapon of mass devastation, a cloud of formic acid, which is like pouring molten lava on the scorpion's wounds. The scorpion on the other hand continues to lash out, and the scorpion's victims continue to pile up. Their wounded are cared for by medic ants, but more soldiers arrive to replace the dead and dying the scorpions. Final defenses are crushed by the onslaughts. The scorpion is trapped and helpless. The ants dismember their victim and display it for all to see in their town square. These crazy green ants decide to attack these bees. The ant soldiers are all over the bees and the bees are pinned to the wall. Green ants construct a labyrinth made of leaves. They pull together with silk, surprisingly their young larvae produce this silk. Number 3. Black Widow vs. Wolf Spider a huntsman spider and a black widow spider are fighting for survival. The huntsman spider obviously sloppy movement could be due to the intoxicating effect of the black widow's venom. This black widow clashes with the wolf spider. The wolf spider is so much bigger than the black widow, but it's the black widow that's the more aggressive of the two. It looks like the black widow takes it to the wolf spider. The black widow is little yet she carries a deadly toxin that may kill a human in only one bite. The wolf spider is so massive, it should not lose this fight, but it does everything is up for grabs. When these two spiders meet this time, the Black Widow destroys this wolf spider and devours it another battle to the death between these two assailants. And it looks like the Black Widow wins again. Number 2, Asian Giant Hornets vs Mantis. This murder hornet and praying mantis clash and this time it's the murder hornet that comes out on top. It tears the mantis head off and it's game over. This prank mantis has no chance of surviving when an overly aggressive murder hornet decapitates it. This murder hornet is taking this praying mantis to the cleaners. I have seen many mantises kill murder hornets, but not today. Asian gigantic hornets also known as murder hornets can wipe out a honeybee colony in a matter of hours, thanks to queens that can grow to be 2 inches long and mandible shaped like spiked shark fins. But in this video, a murder hornet takes on a praying mantis and slices away the mantis appendages with cold surgical pre-precision, after which the mantis will die and be eaten by the hornets. Number 1, Wasp vs Caterpillar. Once this wasp disables and preps these caterpillars, it begins to eat one. I guess they are a good source of protein. This poor caterpillar is trying to escape the grip of this wasp, but the wasp seems to be too powerful at some point. The wasp takes off so, I'm guessing that green goo popping out of the wasp's body must have something to do with it. Here is another wasp latching onto a caterpillar, and it doesn't look good for the caterpillar. Caterpillars don't have much of a defense system, and when this wasp attacks it, it just absorbs the blows until it perishes some of these insects. Thanks for watching this video. See you soon in the next video.